What's up, Pizza Holics? Monumental day. I'm here in Greenwich Village at La Antica di Michele, one of the most famous pizzerias in Naples. Now, a New York location. The guy in there making the pizza. He's, he's the dude from Naples who works at the Naples location. He's here now, the most famous pizzeria in the world. Right here, Greenwich Village. Let's go eat. Alright baby, oh look at this beauty, oh man, I can tell right away, oh my god just by touching it, I need a knife and fork for this thing guys, they cut it, they sliced it but it's so freaking tender, piping hot right out of the oven. Di Michele, the most famous pizza in the world, folks. Landica Di Michele, the smell, you can smell that quality. The olive oil is dripping off this thing. Well, no, I like Guys, I'm not saying nothing for this entire review. I'm not gonna say nothing. There's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. Guys, this, I've been dreaming about this moment. I've been dreaming about this moment for my entire life. My entire life. This crust is legit. This pizza is legit. A true Neapolitan, a real Neapolitan. Not all that fake shit. So much fake Neapolitans out there. So many fake Neapolitans out there. Not this one. Not this one. This is a real authentic Neapolitan pizza. The crust, look at the cheese, it's making the sauce turn, turn pink. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, I 
can't begin to tell you right now. That crust is so buttery and light. That sauce is tremendous. All right, guys, what do you say we move on into the lab and under the microscope we go where we get a closer look at this phenomenal pizza here before us, courtesy of Lantica di Michele, one of the most famous pizzas in the world, one of the most famous pizzas in Naples. This is the pizza, guys. This is the pizza. The pizza. Okay? It's the only, it's the second Neapolitan I ever had that I would consider absolutely authentic and true blue to the core, to the specifications. The, we're going to start with the crust, guys. Let's face it, the foundation of every pizza is the foundation. This crust was so light, okay? They're not mixing flowers here, guys. This thing is light. I couldn't even separate it. It was pulling apart. Even though they sliced it, which they don't really do in Naples, here, of course, they cut the pizzas. And I think in Naples, you can request to cut the pizza. They slice them there if you want it. Most of, but for the most part, they eat it with a knife and fork because it's so buttery. Look at that. Look at the way it's folding. Look. It's like a crepe. Now, if you don't like Neapolitans, all right, I respect that. All right? I respect it. But guys, respect this pizza. Even if you don't like Neapolitans, you got to have respect for the most famous pizza in the world, for the ingredients. A Neapolitan is like a good-looking person who forgot to trim their beard in the morning or comb their hair. That's what a Neapolitan is like. It can be a little messy. It, it, it's borderline soupy, uh, but borderline. And... It, it, oh god the ingredients guys the freshness of that cheese but you got to respect this pizza if, if you don't like neapolitans you still need to respect this pizza okay because it's the most famous pizza in the damn world for very good reasons quality freshness that sauce look how bright that sauce is guys look at that it's glistening. The taste, there's a nice amount of hard cheese into that sauce with the Fiore di Latte mozzarella, which is some of the best mozzarella in the world. It's so good that it's turning the sauce pink in the middle. That's what you want to see with a Neapolitan. You want the sauce to turn pink because that tells you that the damn cheese is loaded with milk content. It's fresh, lots of moisture. Absolutely delicious, guys. We gotta talk about the crust, guys. Let's face it, the foundation of every pizza is the foundation. So light. The lightest crust I've ever had since I tasted the, tasted the Gino Sorbillo pie. Go watch my Gino Sorbillo pie if you wanna get a glimpse of another authentic Neapolitan. I reviewed some Neapolitans on this channel, and a lot of you guys don't like my Neapolitan reviews. Those videos get very, very low views. So if you're not watching my Neapolitan reviews, too damn bad. Look at the speckling on that crust, guys. Beautiful, even speckling. The bake was nice and even. Look at the pattern, consistent. Okay? I'm gonna need soap, too, for, uh, after this one. To, to clean my hands. Look at that char, guys. Guys, look at that char. Is that even enough for you? Is that beautiful? It was nice and bitter. It goes so well with that sweet, it went so well with that sweet tomato sauce, naturally sweet, naturally sweet tomato sauce of the utmost quality, I'm assuming San Marzano's. And uh, guys, I, I don't think there's anything left to say except maybe talk about that basil, which was, uh, it smacked me right in the goddamn mouth. That's how fresh it was. Look at the color of that thing. Guys, this, let's go give this thing a score. I'm sure you guys know what I'm going to give this thing. All right, guys. We don't do the cold test for Neapolitans. With Neapolitans, as long as they're not wet in the middle, like if the dough is wet underneath, that may piss me off. But if it's a little soupy, I don't mind. I'll take a nice soupy Neapolitan, baby. Any day of the week. Is we don't really test for crunch with Neapolitans. We want Neapolitans to be very, very, very light and buttery.
Cheers. Very good. good. Incredible. All right. True blue Neapolitan. This is a this is Neapolitan. Zazzi's is New York style. Right here. This is more Italian. Zazzi's is also very good. Super. Right down the street there. Take care. Best pizza sauce I ever had. Guys, nine five. Raise your volume, raise those speakers. You heard right. Rewind the damn video, you heard correctly. 9-5. 9-5 for Lantica Di Michele. Without question. 9-5 everybody. I gotta go eat the rest of this pizza. I'm ending this video right here. What's up, pizza guys? Good. Where's that pizza from? Right here, Landica di Michele, the most famous pizza in Naples. It's now in New York, baby. Is it good? That's like saying, "Is the sun beautiful?" <laughs> guys, corner of Bank Street. Uh. I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna just end this video. I'm just gonna press the stop button. I'm just gonna press the stop button. Guys, hit that like. Yeah. Smash the sub. I'm gonna go back in there. Look at this beautiful building, by the way. The, the place itself is, is absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to record with my phone because the lighting is a little different. That the speakers are not compatible with my phone. My mic is not compatible with my phone. It's hard to see this beautiful building. It is gorgeous inside, there's bars, two bars inside. I'm gonna go in there now, I'm gonna grab a, a, a glass of wine. Guys, I met the owners. Uh, I think it's owned by two people, not sure. I met them. Awesome people. They don't even speak English. They're freaking head off like straight out of Italy, man. Like, everybody in there speaking Italian, the waiters, the waitresses, everybody in there speaking Italian, the waiters, the waitresses, the guys that make the pizza, everybody. Keep those bellies full, folks. This is Antonio, signing off.